Whoa, I wonder what this grandma did in her lifetime to deserve having this sort of skin. Hello, my friends. I'm Judy with my life as Geekai. And on this channel, I create videos of product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice because I am old and I can give you all the advice in the world. I have been creating videos on YouTube for the last 80 years. And kids, this is a video of a warning to you and this is what will happen to your face. If you do not take care of your skin. So if you want to see how I got this terrible looking skin, then just keep on watching this video. So I'm going to start off with my foundation like how I normally do it. I'm just going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation. I also want to use a matte foundation because as people get older, their skin gets less luminous and glowy. So that's why I'm using a matte foundation. I don't want to apply the foundation too thickly because I want some of my darkness and my dark spots and my texture to show through as well. I never thought I'd be saying that. <laughs> Now I'm going to go into a cooler toned brown eyeshadow. I might just take something like this and I'm going to apply that in all the wrinkles on my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create wrinkles on my face by doing expressions like so the normal expressions that you do, the lines that they create, that's where I'm going to be shading them in. So for example, like this, I'm going to shade in here. I think I've never looked more beautiful. running out of expressions to make. If doing this has taught me one thing, it's that I don't have very many wrinkles. Yet. just going to some darker more cool tone browns and just really shading out those areas that I already have I'm just taking a little bit of white eyeshadow to try and highlight places that will probably sag a whole lot more when you're old. I'm just trying to highlight in between those wrinkles to try and make the wrinkles stand out a whole lot more. Just a bit of contrast, you know, playing with some shadow and some depth. Okay, now with my brows, I'm going to apply a little bit of a grey shimmery eyeshadow into them and hopefully that makes them look a bit more grey. I'm going to take some of that white one, try and make that stand out a whole lot more as white. I'm going to shade under the brows a little bit because that's because when you get older, the eyes, the brows start to sag a little bit. I'm 
gonna go in with a thin eyeliner and take that into a little bit of black eyeshadow and just sort of try and draw some black veinage around my face. I'm gonna take a bit of a warmer toned brown and just put that around my eyes. I want a bit of a dark, deep burgundy reddish sort of eye and I'm gonna just run that in my waterline just to give my eyes a bit of a sick look. I'm just really going back and forth with some shadows and just trying to get some resemblance of old and wrinkles. Now I've got a brown eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to create some freckles and some age spots. Now I'm going to take a tiny, tiny little bit of red liquid lipstick just on a really sort of splayed out blending brush, just the tiniest little bit. And I want to create a little bit of redness around the skin. So like skin unevenness, skin discoloration, you know, all the things that we normally would cover up with concealer. That's what I'm going to try and create the illusion of. I'm just going in with a little bit of a warmer tone brown just to blend that out a little bit. I look like a sick grandma. Anyway, that'll do. Now for the lips, I'm going to go in with a nude lipstick all over the perimeter of my lips. Then over the top of that, almost in the center of my lips, I'm going to go in with a more pinky sort of lipstick. I'm just trying to create the illusion of my lips having shrunk. And in the center of that, I'm going to apply a little bit more of a darker one. And I'm just going to apply that right in the center of my lips. I'm going to go over that with a bit of brown in the center. Then over the top of that, I'm going to scrunch my lips up like this and try and get as much wrinkles in it as I can, then go over the top of it with a white eyeshadow to create the illusion of wrinkles. Now I'm going to go in with a blush that's too bright for me on purpose. I'm going to go into the shade Lena. This is the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. I want to create the illusion of my eyes having sunken in a little bit more, so I'm just going to go in with a darker eyeshadow here in my crease. And last but not least, I'm going to go into some white and apply that in my hairline. I'm going to put on my glasses and I'll be right back. Okay, so kids, this is the finished look. I have been working on this look for the last 80 years and I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you know what subscribe means then subscribe thanks guys for watching um i i will see you in my next video if i haven't died yet okay bye